Making Magnets Magnets can be made by the following methods. 1. Induction method. 2. Single touch method. 3. Double touch method. 4. Electrical method. Do you know? When two magnets are brought near each other, they either attract or repel each other. 1. Induction method. Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic material becomes a magnet by induction method. Activity Take a strong magnet and bring it near a needle. Once the needle sticks to the magnet, take it closer to another needle. Repeat this many times. The needles are attracted by the magnet and get slid with each other in a row. These needles get the magnetic properties due to the presence of the magnet. This is known as magnetic induction. When the magnet is removed, the needles will lose the magnetic properties. Single touch method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by single touch method. Activity Take a magnet and select its one pole. Use the same pole every time and rub it on an iron piece only in one direction again and again. After some time, iron piece turns into magnet. Double touch method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by double touch method. Activity Take an iron bar to be magnetized. Take two bar magnets of identical length and strength. Place the opposite poles of both the magnets at the center of the iron piece. Now, drag them gently in such a way that they should move away from each other along the iron bar, always maintaining contact with the iron bar. Repeat this process at least 40 to 50 times. You will find that iron bar has become a magnet. Electrical method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by passing electric current through it. Activity Take an iron bar and put a winding of a thin insulated copper wire around it. Connect the two ends of the wire to the terminals of a battery through a switch. Turn the switch on so that a current passes through the coil of copper wire. Bring some iron nails near the bar. They are attracted towards it. It shows that iron bar has acquired magnetic properties. If the current is stopped, the magnetic properties of iron bar disappear. Care and Storage of Magnets To prevent a magnet from getting demagnetized, care must be taken not to heat, drop or rough handling the magnet. Permanent magnets have the tendency to lose their magnetism when left alone. Such magnets are protected by using magnetic keepers. One should place magnetic keeper made up of soft iron between the magnets such as their opposite poles are close to each other. To prevent the tendency of a magnet to demagnetize itself, soft iron pieces are used. These iron pieces are called magnetic keepers. Even artificial magnets lose their magnetism if we do not take proper care of them. We should take following precautions in storing them. 1. Magnets should never be heated or hammered or dropped from some height. 2. Magnets should never be handled roughly. They should be handled very carefully. 3. When magnets are not in use, they should be stored along with magnetic keepers to avoid self-demagnetization. 4. Magnets should be kept away from mobiles, television, music system and the computer. Double Touch Method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by double touch method. Activity Take an iron bar to be magnetized. Take two bar magnets of identical length and strength. Place the opposite poles of both the magnets at the center of the iron piece. Now, drag them gently in such a way that they should move away from each other along the iron bar, always maintaining contact with the iron bar. 
Repeat this process at least 40 to 50 times. You will find that iron bar has become a magnet. Electrical method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by passing electric current through it. Activity Take an iron bar and put a winding of a thin insulated copper wire around it. Connect the two ends of the wire to the terminals of a battery through a switch. Turn the switch on so that a current passes through the coil of copper wire. Bring some iron nails near the bar. They are attracted towards it. It shows that iron bar has acquired magnetic properties. If the current is stopped, the magnetic properties of iron bar disappear. Demagnetizing a magnet The removal of magnetic properties of a magnet is called demagnetization of the magnet. It can be done as follows. 1. By heating the magnet. 2. By hammering the magnet. 3. By passing an alternating current around the magnet. 4. By rough handling. Fact, the earth has its own magnetic field which is strongest at its magnetic north and south poles. Scientist Carl Friedrich Gauss was a German mathematician and scientist who contributed significantly to many fields including number theory, statistics, analysis, differential geometry, geophysics, electrostatics, astronomy and optics. Gauss was a prodigious mental calculator. Reputedly, when asked how he had been able to predict the trajectory of Ceres with such accuracy, he replied, I used logarithms. The questioner then wanted to know how he had been able to look up so many numbers from the table so quickly. Look them up, Gauss responded. Who needs to look them up? I just calculate them in my head. Uses of Magnets 1. Magnets are used in doorbells, refrigerators, cupboards, doors, etc. 2. Magnets are used in dynamos, motors, etc. 3. Magnets are used in loudspeaker, microphone, floppy disk, television, etc. 4. Magnets are used in tape recorders and electric meters. 5. Magnets are used in several toys. 6. Ceramic magnets are used in large computers. 7. Magnets are used in magnetic compasses to know the directions. 8. It is used in factories for lifting heavy masses of iron like scrap iron. 9. It is used in hospitals to remove steel splinters from the wounds. Uses of magnets 1. Magnets are used in doorbells, refrigerators, cupboards, doors, etc. 2. Magnets are used in dynamos, motors, etc. 3. Magnets are used in loudspeaker, microphone, floppy disk, television, etc. 4. Magnets are used in tape recorders and electric meters. 5. Magnets are used in several toys. 6. Ceramic magnets are used in large computers. 7. Magnets are used in magnetic compasses to know the directions. 8. It is used in factories for lifting heavy masses of iron like scrap iron. 9. It is used in hospitals to remove steel splinters from the wounds.